Nick, with everything that you've accomplished, what do you plan to accomplish picking a fight with David Manders? I've accomplished a lot over the last few years. Um, if you look at just the time frame since I stepped back into the professional wrestling business, since 2020, I moved ahead of everybody. I became the technical wrestler of the year. I was having the best matches on any show I was on and the wrestler of the year. And right now, that doesn't mean anything to me. You know, I've always said I'm not greedy for money, I'm greedy for respect and what I'm looking to accomplish out of this entire thing is being respected as the performer, the athlete, and the professional wrestler that I am. And many would say that you are one of the best professional wrestlers in the state, probably in the sport today. How does this cement your legacy, though? It's so hard to find a hero, you know? Somebody to stand up for what they believe in and what they believe is right. And as far as this whole scenario goes and how much it's spun out of control over the last several months, all the way to David taking a steel chair to hurt my best friend, Adrian Hawkins. I'm that hero. I'm the guy that's gonna stand up for my friends. I'm the guy that's gonna stand up for the approved. I'm the guy that's gonna stand up for wrestlers like me who know they're right. You know, David, like, he put his hands on Adrian he didn't just hurt Adrian. He hurt all of us. Now Adrian's out injured. And I'm not uh I'm not willing to let it go, JJ. Not this time. Not like this. You know, if you really go back and look at the history of this whole problem that started I think you have to go back to the Monroe Massacre in September of 2021. It's a Sexton Alliance versus David Manders and Team Southern Fried inside that cage. And when it was all said and done, you look at the participants involved from the Sexton Alliance. Todd Sexton, Still showing respect. Brought back in the locker room to help teach the younger guys and help a lot of us out. Billy Buck, maybe the most lovable guy in Southern Fried. Immediately forgiven and given the reins to have a run of a lifetime that he's on right now. And then there's Judas. Unstoppable, unbeatable, unreal, immediately forgiven, and he's your Southern Fried heavyweight champion. But my big question was, what about the approved? What about the weight we already carry with the name of Jimmy Rave behind us? This thing spun so far out of control I ended up going to war with Adrian Hawkins. 60 minutes of beating the living hell out of each other. And you know, look at Bobby. Bobby went rogue, did his own thing to get his hair, head straight. But now, now we're back. Now we're stronger than ever. And I think with the addition of Rob Adonis back in, Bobby's head on straight. Me and Adrian are the tag team champions. It's time for us to have that same respect, get that same forgiveness. I'm finished just being 
okay. Just saying, okay, we'll move over to the side. No, I want my respect. I am the best wrestler in this country today, and nobody, nobody wants to acknowledge it. June 15th, Shindig. It's not a wrestling match. It's a street fight. David Manders could very easily come out victorious. What does that do to the legacy of Nick Halen? I mean, if I lose, if I lose, is there a legacy? Is there any meaning in me saying that I am the absolute best? What do my friends say? What do my peers say if I lose? I don't think I could lose, JJ. I don't think I have a choice but to win. Whether I walk out under my own power or not, I don't think I have a choice. But I will tell you this, and I will promise you this. He is going to know that he was face to face, man to man, in the ring with the baddest, the best that Southern Fried has to offer. And then when it's all said and done, he will have no choice but to respect Nick Halen and respect the approve. You know, we talked a lot about forgiveness a while ago. You know what the day after Shindig is? It's Father's Day. And I plan on spending time with my children and letting them know just how much I love them and care about them. My only hope, my only hope is that come Sunday after Shindig, not only David Manders, but his daughter and his grandchild and his entire family can forgive me for what I'm going to do to their father. That they can forgive me for being the reason that he's not able to get up and walk around and play on Sunday morning. That he's not able to make it to church. Hell, he may not even make it home. 